honored to speak to the legends themselves behind Toy Story. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, you're making the transition from you know movies into gaming uh, in a big way. You're taking um, an iconic character such as Spyro, and you're not only reinventing him, but you're taking him to another level. Was that a challenge? Well, you know, we were very aware that there were like 24 million games of Spyro that had been sold, and it, that it was a beloved game and a beloved character. And we tried to be as respectful as we could in the sort of reinvention of, of the character. And, and uh, you know, again, you can play this game alone with Spyro. You can play this game without Spyro. Or you can play this game with Spyro as one of 32 characters. But we know that people love Spyro. And we tried as hard as we could. And we spent a lot of time talking about it in terms of not wanting to offend them and hoping they'd come along with us. Yeah, I mean, the other thing I would add is that, uh, you know, we, we love telling stories. We've always loved telling stories. We really love telling stories for the whole family. And in a way, we relied on that and had to get educated on how to tell a story in a video game. Not just a video game, but a video game where part of the story takes place in our world as well. So it, it was a challenge and kind of blew our minds a little bit. But at the same time, it was it's still the rudiments of a good story. Hopefully you'll love the characters. Hopefully you'll love the adventure. And hopefully uh, it, you'll, you'll enjoy uh, winning, which is what a good story does, you know. Now, from what I heard in your recent interview, you just said something uh, in reference to Spyro being, I guess, the Superman. This is kind of like the Justice League. So what you're, um, I guess, indicating is that we're going to be following along other people, other um, beings or, you know, creatures that are like Spyro and, and stars in their own way. So we're going to be following their storyline, as yeah. you said? Yeah, well, well, again, um, there are 32 Skylanders, and they're heroes in, in a magical place called Skylands. If, in, if Buzz Lightyear said to infinity and beyond, Skylands is beyond infinity, all right? It is the magical new floating realm. And these 32 Skylanders are the heroes, you know? And for fans of, of Spyro, yes, you know Spyro, you'll know Cinder, but now there's 30 new uh, friends you can have. They have their own backstories, they have their own powers, they have their own personalities, they have their own gameplay. So uh, hopefully Spyro will be helpful in, in allowing the player to, to get to know these new characters. One of the great things about the game is that you can change out every character at any moment and start playing with a new character and they retain all of their information. So it's this wonderful chance to, to actually, yeah, get to know a whole bunch of new superheroes. You have anything to say? Uh, 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 no. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto, right? I mean, so in this game, is it a multiplayer experience where uh, multiple, uh, you know, more than one person can play the, um, as different characters? People can play it, and you can play it across all platforms, which means that it has this little uh, brain in its, uh, in its head that you can take your character to your friend's house and play on his system. And it's uh, Xbox, PS3, Wii, all of that. Uh, it'll stay your character. It'll maintain all the information and strength that you've given your character against any platform. It's really, really the first time this ever happened. Yeah, I know. It's mind boggling. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say, so wait, are you indicating that I can have it on Nintendo? Yes. And that same character I could bring to yes. PlayStation. Can and that's it. Give him a new Wii. You go upstairs. Right? It's awesome. You can awesome. see that. You understand, that's not only the craziest thing I've ever heard. Like, yeah. How are you going to come into the yeah. gaming industry and change the rules of gaming? <laughs> you know, it's funny. We you know, we always felt lucky with the Toy Story experience because when we were at Pixar in 91, 92, nobody quite knew what it was. And then it became this technology and a, a storytelling that changed the world. We feel like we've uh, gotten lucky a second time. And that this technology and this storytelling will hopefully, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a couple we're of years. Lucky. We're very lucky to be part of something that's going to be groundbreaking again, hopefully change video games from this point on. Yes, you, you just pretty much took all three competitors and made them friends and harmony to one game. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to talk to him. But, uh, no, I'm, it's an honor. You know, this Game of Fit Nation, and this is all for GFN Junior, our kids section. And I believe this is like the biggest honor we can have for GFN Junior. So we oh, thank you. Much. Thank you.